All right, welcome to a short showcase of the Advanced Band GUI system built with Advanced GUI. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna like show you what you can do with our system. It's not really gonna be a tutorial, um, just a quick overview. So you obtain a GUI with slash uh, band GUI and then you just start by searching for player. Um, you point your cursor at the top to the input field and then you can search by either um, making a doing slash slash and then just typing something um, or you can just use the chat and type there so that both works uh, by default it searches for online players so we see I'm online so it will show up my name here and I can just press on me um, you reset the search by just like switching the inventory field and we can also search for offline players so let's say we want to search for hero brian uh, we just type in hero brian and it says there's no online player with this name but we can just like continue with the offline player by clicking here and then we get a quick overview uh, of the status of this player whether he's banned or muted, um, how many warnings he got and how many notes. Then we have a history tab, where we, which is basically the same as history command. We just have an overview of all his punishments and we see whether the punishments are active or not. Um, if we have a punishment, we get more details at the, uh, at the top, like which operator invoked the punishment, how much time is remaining, and as much of the reason as we can fit into the GUI. If the player has like more punishment entries than fit into the list, you get like a scroll thing right here where you can switch the pages. Uh, we also see a temp ban here, which is not active because it expired. By clicking on the, we can see that r right now he has two warns. So if we go right here and revoke the warning, we can see that the number changed here. It also uh, live updates if we, for example, go through the chat and do slash mute hero brine uh, test. It will also show live that he got muted. And when we check the history, we see that uh, the new punishment shows up. You can also use the GUI to create punishments just by hitting on punish. And I don't know, I guess we're gonna ban him. Um, we see the target is already selected. We can type in a reason if we choose to. Uh, so let's say just go with hacking again. Hacking. Uh, we can switch whether the punishment is silent or not. So I guess we can just make it silent so people don't see it. Then we also can choose whether it's permanent or not. So if we want just to temp ban, we switch that off and can type in a duration here. So let's change this to uh, we also see here that it has like a validation thing, so it turns red because this is not a valid time. But if we input like a time layout, oops, a uh, time layout, it's going to be gray or a valid time. So let's do like 32 minutes um, and then we just gonna hit punish or we can cancel like the, the operation. Uh, but we just gonna hit punish and we see now that he is also banned and checking his um, his history we also see that like we even have a countdown uh, at the top how how much time is remaining on his punishment so yeah that's pretty much uh, all you can do with the system i'm not too sure if this is this is like mostly um meant as an example of what you can achieve with the advanced um advanced ui api um so i'm not too sure not too sure how useful this actually is in a live server because in my opinion, it's just faster to type in slash ban and then the name. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's up to you what you do with the system. The code for the GUI system is open source, so you can check that out. And yeah.